Hey, Phil here from Cut Risk Comics. How are you doing? Book of Beasties is well on track to being ready for the first trial, uh, which is at Hassel Tyne School in Sydenham, uh, East London, this Tuesday. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm not. We are literally working night and day. We wanted to have the biggest impact that it possibly can. And we want to make sure that the game is at a point where, even at this stage, it will make a bit of a difference and make an impact on the, uh, on, on the children and the students that use it and the teachers that help them use it. But don't be fooled, we're not just sitting around playing games all day. Uh, well, that's maybe a little bit of it. But the rest of it is reading. We can read. <laughs> but we're not sitting around all day, every day, playing card games. The rest of the time, we are researching. We're reading, whether it's in the news, whether it's in blogs, whether it's in papers, whether it's in the DSM manual. We want to know about it. We're learning, we're growing ourselves, and this is how we're improving Book of Beasts. But every now and then, something pops up in the news or somewhere that really strikes a Corby. And that happened quite recently. This is an article that I read in the Huff Post. The fact that there needs to be more support for those battling mental illness or trying to savour their mental health is not news. But the hard stats and facts that surround it uh, can sometimes be quite shocking. Now according to the HuffPost, following a Care Quality Commission's review of the mental health services available for children uh, across England, it was found that only a quarter of them who require help and treatment have access to it. As a nation that prides itself in the healthcare that we offer, this is pretty much a failure. It's not as if the money isn't there to fund it, because I'm pretty sure it is. It's just that those who control the money seem to have their priorities completely skewed. These kids are the future. We owe it to them to at least offer a little bit of support, and we're struggling to even do that. Now, Theresa May has made promises and spoken about how they're going to focus on mental health, but nothing seems to be happening just yet. At least, not much. Or not enough. From the people I've spoken to, it seems that funds are even being cut, and there's just no room out there for growth within this area. Now, even more recently, Sky News reported that figures from the NHS trusts show that 17% of children and adolescent mental health referral cases have been rejected. This is between 2015 and 2017. And in numbers, that's 100,000 children that have been turned away from receiving help that they want or even desperately need within the space of, what, two years? That's about four pupils in every single school in the UK. And don't get me wrong, there is definitely windows of hope. Things are happening to improve the situation. People are working towards offering better services or helping those who do suffer but just not enough at the moment. We want to be a part of that change, which is why we created Book of Beasties. We believe it fills a void and lends a friendly ear, a hand or a voice to anyone that is finding it hard to talk about their mental issues. There'll never be a cure for mental illness, but there are ways to improve the way that we deal with it now, so then it is easier to cope with it later on. Guys, thanks for listening. As usual, please visit our website, the link below. Check out all our social medias, follow us, like us, subscribe. Whatever you do, you do you. Uh, and uh, we'll keep you up to date with uh, the first trial on Tuesday. I'm not nervous.